You know, uh, we, uh, you might remember the very last week of the legislative session, I answered some questions in question period and asked that, uh, uh, that, the, uh, that the board respond to a request for an emergency board meeting. Uh, and I think we were pretty clear and the minister was pretty clear that there needed to be some changes, some significant changes over and above what had happened uh, with respect to Mr. Fairbairn's decision to approve. So, um, you know, I, I won't get into any more detail than that, except to add that I think the board did make an outstanding decision in their, in their, in their choice of an interim president, Dr. Gordon Barnhart. I think for, graduated from that campus with his undergraduate degree in 1967 when I was two. <laughs> and has been a, a champion of that university for a very long time and very just obviously very competent. Uh, he, he brought just the right tone back to it. We do want all of our third party uh, partners in government, the public sector, to be looking for efficiencies in the long term. We all have to do that. We are in government. Um, and, and I know Dr. Barnhart's committed to that. Whether it's transform us or something else, there, there needs to be that sustainability piece. He, he'll provide leadership there. There also needs to be a bit of calming and a greater, perhaps even a greater inclusion of faculty, students, and everybody out there as they, uh, on the campus as they move towards a long-term solution. And so has it brought the funding issue back back to life for you guys? I mean, you know, this is stemming from funding from the provinces. Is, is, is there any re-looking at that from your end? Uh, since we were elected, we've increased funding to the university by 65%. Operational dollars by 65% to that campus. So figure out what, you know, we could quickly figure out here what inflation has been since 2007, cumulatively. What we have given in operating increases to the university is 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 way 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 bigger uh, than than inflation, a, a much bigger number than the inflationary pressures there. So, I would say the funding from our government has been uh, at, uh, at unprecedented levels. Frankly, we'll continue our commitment to post secondary, but we do want universities, school boards, cities. Our own, we want our we, we look introspectively at government. All of us in the public sector need to be finding uh, efficiencies in the long term so it's sustainable. There's only one taxpayer.